सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी क्लासिफिकेशन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स नाउ व्हाट डज क्लासिफिकेशन मींस मीन classification means we want to understand different varieties and what all types of triangles are and we can club them together and probably study them yeah so uh, there are two ways what we are going to take classification of triangles in this uh, series so one is on the basis of so there must be some basis of classification on the basis of side length or the edge length okay so this is going to be first classification and the second classification is going to be on the measure of the angle measure of the angles okay so um on the basis of let's take the first one on the basis of on the basis basis of side length so we have categorized triangle into three categories one is called scale and triangle scale and triangle what is scale and triangle a triangle a triangle with all sides of different length This is called a scale and triangle. Okay, so all sides with different length will be called scale and triangle. Second one is isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. What is that? Iso means same and celes, celes, right? Isosceles triangle means same side. Iso means same. So there are two. two equal sides two equal sides in one triangle then the third the third one should not be equal only two one triangle right then it's called isosceles and third one is equilateral triangle equi lateral triangle so as the name suggests equi means same lateral means side so all sides equal right so what is the definition here or identification is all sides are equal this is on the basis of side length so you can see if i draw like this this is a scale and triangle right no two sides are equal so a b and c so ab length is not equal to bc not equal to ca that's scale and triangle what about isosceles triangle so if you see this is an yeah isosceles triangle so let's say a b and c and a b is equal to so you can say ab is equal to ac isosceles but not equal to bc right and third one equilateral triangle so you can see equilateral triangle you can draw equilateral triangle like that so i'm rough you know roughly this would be like that abc where all the sides are equal this is equal to this is equal to this correct so you can say ab is equal to bc is equal to ca this is equilateral triangle now now the second categorization was or the second classification was on the basis of angle isn't it on the basis of angles okay so there are again three uh category one is acute angle triangle acute angled triangle what is this on the basis of angles so now we are measuring the angles and basis of that we are going to 
classify triangles. Acute angle triangle is a triangle, a triangle with all angles less than 90 degrees. Now, why are they called acute then? So, acute literally means sharp. So, acute means very sharp. So, sharp means pointed in this case. So, hence angles are sharp. So, all of them are less than 90 degrees. Okay, then we get acute angle. So, where do you see acute angle? So, in your kitchen, if you go, you will see knives. The knife edge is so acute. Isn't it? This looks like a right angle triangle. So, let me just change it a little bit. So, let me draw like this. Right? So, this is an acute angle triangle. Right? All edges look slow, look so sharp, right? So, the pointed and sharp. So, acute angle triangle ABC. Right? ABC is acute angle triangle. Now, second category is right angled right angled triangle now this nomenclature is is since euclid's time or even before that actually there is right line as well so the line joining two points it's called a right line so right angled triangle what is a right angle so what you now know as a perfect 90 degree angle so this is a one angle is 90 degree then it is called a right angled triangle right a b c so what is a right angled triangle if one angle if one angle is equal to one of the three 90 degree you can't have more than one angle so you can note uh, can't have more than one right angle one right angle in a triangle we'll prove it a little later but understand this right so can't have more than one right angle in a triangle so that is right angle triangle and third one is obtuse angle triangle obtuse angled triangle okay what does it mean so it means that at least one angle should be greater than 90 degree should be one angle only in acute angle triangle we talk about all three should be less than 90 degree in this one angle should be greater than 90 degrees automatically the other two will become lesser than 90 degrees that's also we are going to study so if you see what how does a obtuse angle triangle look like so this is a obtuse angle triangle abc a b c this is more than 90 degrees okay so angle apc in this case is more than 90 degrees why it is called obtuse obtuse means blunt so if you have a knife with that kind of an angle at its edge you will not be able to use the knife properly so obtuse blunt acute sharp and right you always know perfect you know l-shaped angle right so this is what is the classification of triangles now we are going to take up uh theorems on triangle right theorems are nothing but you know some facts about any particular uh, mathematical concept where we can prove them by logic okay so that's what we are going to take up next